Hey guys, what is going on? It is Minitough, and today I'm going to be showing you how to update your Minecraft to 1.6.1. This is fairly simple, but it's a little different than you've ever done before. This is the first time that I think we've ever had to download a new Minecraft launcher. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this, and yeah, I'm going to make this video a little bit longer than it needs to be. I could show you how to do it in 30 seconds if I wanted to, but I want to give you plenty of information so you know what you're getting into when you do it. So, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and show you what it looks like with the old launcher. So here I am, I'm going to log in, I blurred out my email because I don't want you emailing me. But this is what it looks like when you log into your normal Minecraft. Now, not really, I'm using like a, a custom Minecraft launcher to run it in a borderless mode. So what I mean by that is it, it's not going to launch, it launches in full screen. But there's no border, so I'll show you what it what it looks like. It's just going to log in here for a second. And this is what, what happens. It's going to say, Notice, Minecraft 1.6 is available for manual download. Please click here for more information. And then it's going to take you, blah, 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 all this all this stuff. I have the links in the description so you don't have to worry. So, yeah, you're, you're pretty much stuck here unless you, you know, want to stick with 1.5. But, yeah, you're going to need to update to the new launcher in order to get the new 1.6 update. So I'm going to go ahead and quit out of that and... If you're wondering why it took so long to launch, that is because I have a 256 texture pack and that's why it takes a while. So, two links in the description. You have the Mojang post or the Minecraft post. Either way, you're going to get the same launcher. So, I'm just going to, I mean, it really, it's the same thing. So, here you go. I'll have both the links in the description. So, scroll down and it really doesn't matter, guys. You could download the, the EXE or the, the EXE from here. It, they're the same thing. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the new launcher from here. And download the one that is your version. This is pretty much the same tutorial, whether it be Windows, Mac, Linux, or other. So I'm going to go ahead and get the Windows one, because that's what I'm on. And it's going to go ahead and download it real quick. And then I'm going to go down to my downloads folder, and you should see it. There it is, right here, my Minecraft.exe. And what you're going to need to do is actually replace the current launcher you have. So the way I like to do this is I like to go down here to my start menu, and then I search for Minecraft. And it should show find the launcher that you have. I'm running Minecraft Borders, but if you're running a different Minecraft, it should show up here. Then what I like to do is right click on it, and then I press Open File Location. And if it takes you to your Downloads folder, like you have here, then that this is that's not the right one. You want the one that should be in different location. I don't know where you put it, but you know that's where you have it. So here you go. This is my Minecraft Launcher folder. I have two Minecraft versions. In here this is the old launcher this is my borderless launcher so I'm gonna I'm gonna rename this one to Minecraft old because I want to keep it you could just replace it that you could totally do that I wouldn't you know it would still work fine so but I, in my case I, I want to keep all the launchers because I can so I'm gonna go ahead and replace this let's go ahead and we'll do cut and paste so now we've got minecraft.exe this is the new one so for me just to keep all, everything I'll sort I'm gonna go ahead and name this new i'll just just for now i'll change this later but for now i'm gonna name it minecraft underscore new you don't have to rename it that is something you do not have to do so don't don't worry about that then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna replace this because if i launch it here this launcher is still going to take me to my launcher my old launcher although i renamed it so it's gonna freak out but if you know it's not gonna work now so i'm gonna unpin this and we'll go ahead and pin this new one onto the taskbar so Voila, like that, and we'll put it here because I don't want Camtasia meant screwing it up. So then, all you need to do is click on it, and I don't need to worry about that. And there we go, it's going to unpack all this stuff. And voila, we now have our information here, everything's working. It's going to download the newest update, which I really like all this cool stuff, that the way it downloads updates and everything, it's, it's pretty neat. So I'm going to go ahead and resize this to make it a little bit bigger for you, so you don't have to worry about any size issues. Zah. So there we go. Let's go ahead and show you some of the new features you can do. It should, by default, if you did it, screw up with your Minecraft folder, it should have, you know, all of your information here and get that off the screen. It's annoying. So there you go. So it should have all of your information here. You can go ahead and change profiles, which is a really cool thing. So you can go in development and this is what it's showing what it actually is doing right now. So it's downloading all of the new updates. Profile editor, I'll show you that in a second. And local version, I don't know what that is yet but I'll go ahead and show you what it is to make a profile so I'm gonna go ahead and choose edit profile so this is my current profile that I'm on right now so I'm gonna go ahead and name this mini tough for my current profile and down here you can change a couple things you can change the game directory which it should be defaulted to where your minecraft folder is so you don't have to worry about that 
you can tell it to use the latest snapshots I really don't need to do that right now or down here you can change it to use version and you can set this to the current version you want and this is really awesome so before if you wanted to download a older version of Minecraft you had to go in and replace the folder but now it will do it automatically so I'm gonna choose use latest version resolution I will have this automatically scale for me executable I don't know what this is and Java and arguments this pretty much just chooses how much memory you have dedicated to Minecraft and I would recommend checking this just to give you one gigabyte of RAM by default I think it's 256 megabytes if you check this you're gonna be stuck at one gigabyte you could obviously change this to four gigabytes five gigabytes you know whatever uh -huh. 20 gigabytes obviously yep don't do that I'm just gonna keep it at two for now so then I'm gonna go ahead and choose save and it will update here so there we go mini tough saved and this is all my stuff and now I'm gonna go ahead and log into my 1.6.1 this is my new profile here you don't have to be on this tab you can be on any tab you want and go ahead and press play and it's gonna launch all this stuff here you don't really need to to worry about it it's, it's all fine dandy let that go ahead and go across there you go logged in and one thing I really don't know if I like or not it keeps this launcher open you can close it if you would like you can close it Minecraft will work fine and you can go and make this thing full screen and everything will work so I don't know if you know you need to I I think it's kind of weird that the launcher stays open but it, it's fine for me I don't I don't really care my, my computer can totally handle it so there you have it this is one point 6.1 here I'll go ahead and launch into that and I will show you let's go ahead and press F3 and it will show you up here 1.6.1 so this is the newest version but let's go ahead and quit out of that and we'll launch the the launcher again and it will go ahead and do all this all this stuff here welcome all right so I wanted to show you a little bit more in depth of what the actual profile editor does here so let's go ahead and go to the profile editor tab you don't have to go to this tab you can do it from this tab too you just I just like to be on the profile editor tab but then go ahead and press edit profile on the current tab this is just me because I'm OCD and I just want to get rid of the name default and I'm gonna go ahead and name it mini tough just because I can and then down here you have your options you have game directory which we'll get into this later but I would recommend leaving this on default and you can choose to get snapshots I don't want to get snapshots now there are no snapshots out and you can choose the version you are on here this will we'll get into this more later the resolution I like to leave it automatic so it can do it automatically and then your Java settings here you have executable I would leave this one alone and then the JVM arguments what this does is chooses the amount of memory that Minecraft has to run so if you're using really high resolution texture packs you can go ahead and up the memory here so I think default Minecraft runs at 256 megabytes. If you check this, you are at one gigabyte, and you can go ahead and up this to say four gigabytes or two gigabytes, depending on how much RAM your computer has. I have 16 gigabytes, so I could handle pretty much anything I throw at it here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it at two, and then I'm gonna press save. So at this point, I didn't change anything except for the amount of memory that Minecraft uses to run. So, but I'm gonna show you how to actually add a profile. So let's use new profile. And I'm going to go ahead and name this 1.1.5.1. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and call this Aether2. Because I'm, when I'm going to have to install the Aether2. And you need 1.5.1 to do that. So there you go. We'll just we'll leave it like that. And then we'll go down here to Game Directory. And this is important. The way Minecraft will do it is if I'll go down here. And I'll go ahead and open up my Minecraft folder. I'll show you firsthand. So here is my Minecraft folder. You go into .minecraft. And you have versions this is new you open up this and if I choose to downgrade to 1.5.1 like I do here so I'll choose 1.5.1 if I leave this folder the same it will create a new folder inside here that's 1.5.1 and if I launch Minecraft it will have all of my saves so pretty much it has everything the same except for the version you'll still have all your texture packs or resource packs the only thing that's different is the version of Minecraft you're running. And I don't recommend this because some worlds may freak out depending on if you're jumping between versions. So I really like to, you know, stay safe and not keep your, your Minecraft from switching versions and maybe have some something that's not compatible. I like to change this right here to Minecraft and then you can put this in another folder but for now we're gonna go ahead and call this Minecraft 2 and what this will do is it will create a new folder and we'll call it Minecraft 2 so I'll show you here so I'm just changing this to be the same leave this the same leave this the same so I'm gonna press save 
And then watch what happens when I log in. I'll leave this up right here. And I'm going to go ahead and choose log in here and switch profile to my 1.5.1. I'm going to log in with my username and password. It's the same password and username that you have for your other account. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and I'll press play and watch what happens. All right, I'm pressing play now and watch what happens. It's going to download all of the, the information here. And you see that the bar going down, blah, 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 boom. We now have a Minecraft 2 folder. And the way this works is now we are on a separate jar. So everything that we did in this folder is now gone and it is in this folder. So if we go ahead and change profiles here to my other profile, we can play this and it's going to launch this folder now. And this is the 1.6.11 and this is where my saves are. So I like to separate my, my stuff like this because it doesn't give you the error of having all of your worlds overlapping. I'll show you what happens if I make a profile and I don't change the folder. So let's go to profile editor. I'll create a new profile and we'll call this test don't do this and yeah no apostrophe because I am a boss. Then I'm going to leave the game directory the same and I'm going to change the version here. I'll put this at 1.5.1 as well. I'll put this to 2 to keep everything consistent and I'll press save profile and now let's choose my test don't do this and I'll go ahead and log in again. Alright I'm pressing play now guys and watch what happens. I'm going to go into my Minecraft folder and you can see it's launched. We're on 1.5.1. If I press single player it has my tough in the Minecraft world. This is because it is in this folder right here. So if I go in this folder and I will go into versions you can see I now have the 1.5.1 dot jar. This is what, what it's doing is it's trying to be really convenient to you and keep all your versions in the same Minecraft folder, but I don't like it because it overlaps all of the world. You can do it. You surely can do it if you want to, but for me, I like to have all of my my information separately so I don't have any overlapping and, and you know errors going on. So I'm, I guess that's pretty much it. I'm, I wanted to be very in-depth on the profile editor part of this tutorial. Alright guys, I guess that's it for this tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed and Enjoy running on Minecraft 1.6.1, and I hope you have a fantastic day. And if you enjoyed this video, it would be awesome if you could leave a rating. I always enjoy the ratings. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good day. Peace out, guys.